How's it going? My name is Mike Hatzis, aka Bang Include. In this video, we're going to see how we could route each pad or each group to a separate output into Ableton Live. What I would like to do is just separate the loop from the drums. So I'm going to hit group C because I want to send the output of group C to a separate track in live. From there, I'm going to hit group so I can see all my group options. Next thing I have to do is go to my output section. Right now, the output of the group is going to machine's master track. Set this so it bypasses machine's master track and goes to a specific output in live. The way I like to set it up to keep it organized is I like to choose the output for the corresponding group, meaning group C, I would use output 3. Now you'll notice when I hit a pad, we don't hear any audio. That's because we've bypassed machine's master output. To hear something now, we have to set up a track inside Ableton that'll accept the output. So I'm just going to close the plugin window, and I'm just going into Ableton. I'm just going to right click up here and insert an audio track. From the top drop down, I want to choose the track that machine is on, which is track two. The second drop down gives us all the different outputs from machine. We chose output three, so I'll just select that output. Next, what I want to do is just arm the track so we can actually receive input from machine onto that track. You'll notice now that if I hit the pads, that I'll be getting input into that track. Also notice, if I play back the audio, I could just solo this track, and we don't hear the drums. This track right here is just the drums. So now what I'd like to do is just hit record and just start playing back some of the patterns into live. What I like to actually do is, so I don't have to hold down the pattern button while I'm playing out the different patterns or while I'm triggering the different patterns, I like to do pattern lock, which I can do by holding pattern and hitting button one. You'll notice now that I can just see the different patterns I have on the machine's pads. So again, I just want to re record my performance of me just triggering back the different patterns. Live, I'm just going to hit record and just start playing back pads and machine. And I'm just going to hit stop now. And you can see here that I have a lot of audio that can now be chopped up and arranged inside live. So that's how we would set up and route separate outputs from machine into Ableton Live when using machine as a plugin. Thanks for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. And also be sure to check out dubspot.com for more production tutorials and tips. Thanks a lot and take care. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.